Welcome back to Dr. Josefina's Way. And in today's program, we're talking about what you need to know about willpower. Many people believe that they could improve their lives only if they have more of that mysterious thing called willpower. With more willpower, they will eat better, they exercise regularly, they, they will avoid drugs, alcohol, and stop procrastinating. We have many names for willpower. Determination, drive, resolve, self-discipline, and self-control. According to most psychologists, willpower can be defined as the ability to delay gratification in order to achieve long-term goals. The other definition will be willpower is the capacity to override the unwanted thoughts, feelings, or impulses. Now, willpower or self-control is a limited resource capable of being depleted. Lack of willpower is the most significant barrier for people to change. Many people blame lack of willpower for their imperfect choices. The amazing thing is that they don't give up hope. And that is a good thing because willpower is something that it can be learned. Willpower can be strengthened with practice. It's just like a muscle. Now, lack of willpower is not the only reason why you fail to achieve your goals. There are three necessary components for achieving your goal, which is going to reinforce your self-control and your willpower. First, you need to establish the motivation, the reason for change. Second, you have to set a clear goal. Third, you need to monitor your behavior towards that goal. Whether your goal is to lose weight, to kick back a bad habit, to study more, or to spend less time in Facebook. Remember, willpower is the ability to resist short term temptations in order to achieve long term goals. Willpower and self-control are more important than IQ. Individuals with higher self-control in childhood as adults, they have higher self-esteem, better health, make more money, less time with drugs, uh, less problems with drugs and alcohol, less, uh, and they also have better relationship skills. Here are a few points that I want you to remember. Willpower is a limited resource. Willpower can be developed. Willpower is a critical step towards achieving your goals. So I want you to remember the thing because willpower is like having $5 for the day and you spend the $5 and just in one meal and then you don't have anything for the rest of the day. So what we have to do, we have to divide the $5 in $1, $1, $1, $1, the same thing with willpower. As you go through your day and you've been waiting, you know, spending time at work, making decisions at work, planning, uh, thinking, all that 
energy takes your energy from your willpower. So when you get home at night, you exhaust it and you eat anything you want and that's what sometimes we don't achieve, whether it's losing weight, whether it's whatever the goal you have set for yourself. But anyway, we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. <laughs> 